Jimmy to both has become the first concert venue promoter sent to prison. I really knew there was something wrong when the property got raided. Missouri State Highway Patrol undercover operatives abetted the sale of controlled substances. And then it was a few months later that I got an indictment for 21 U.S.C. 856, which is managing a drug ball premises. In addition to losing his property through asset forfeiture, Sabo will spend 30 months in prison. This is not something where they said that he was actively involved in anything. I should have been making sure all that stuff wasn't happening. One person cannot be responsible for the behavior of thousands of people. The problem I seen was basically the whole promotion of drugs. Jimmy asked for the sheriff to send deputies onto the grounds and help the police the events that took place there. And they started having road checkpoints or drug checkpoints. It didn't matter if you had a lawyer or not, you were, everybody was getting the same thing. Slap with the fine and two years probation. People from all over the country would show up at these events. We generated a lot of sales tax money. It was adding to the revenue of the county, which I operate my law enforcement. The motivation of some people was to show these dirty hippies who was boss and turned our community off completely. They weren't after people, they were after the big picture. They were counting on the people doing drugs just as much as Jimmy was counting on them coming to see the music. To have a full-on state and federal investigation. There was IRS. IRS. And there was a hazmat truck there. But also as a police officer, or as someone who works undercover just walking through and seeing how everybody was reacting. I think in the end they only got two or three ounces of marijuana. DEA, uh, Homeland Security was there at the Zoe Raid. It was a horrible experience, it was. And there's things that happened inside that camp that just uh, a normal person could never imagine what was taking place.